Crawling is acceptable. Falling is acceptable. Puking is acceptable. Crying is acceptable. Blood, pain is acceptable. Quitting is not. This is my road back to the stage. This is my road to redemption. All right, what's up everybody? It's me, your boy, Jay Dizzle for Shizzle, back in the hizzle. Hope you guys are doing well. Shout out to everybody that's tuning in. All right, guys, so uh, just real quick, man, just, uh, just um, I wanted to hop on here and, hold on, let me straighten out this camera. Saying that is crooked, but didn't look like that did anything. Anyway, <laughs> um, just just uh just wanted to hop on here real quick man and just say you know um i'm at the gym right now i'm about to do this upper body workout uh sunday uh january 28th 20 and 24 we are 19 weeks out from the commit to fit uh transformation challenge in norfolk virginia so uh last week was kind of hectic man i was a little discouraged um I, I was trying to make a video uh several times um in regards to uh, what I had to do for the Commit to Fit Challenge, uh, I had to get an in-body scan, and and basically in that video I was trying to show you guys like um, my frustrations with my weight because when I got on the when I got on the in-body scan, you know, scale, um, it said that I was uh, 216 pounds, and my scales at home, you know, are giving me different, they're giving me different uh, weights and things like that. So when I checked in with coach, you know, I was a little frustrated and everything. And she, she totally didn't agree with the in-body scan as well. She's just like, there's no way you're like 214, 216, something like that, you know, because we can see it in your in your changes from week to week you know so she's happy with where we're at i'm just i'm not happy with where we're where, where i'm at right now just because you know i've been at this for 20 weeks now and you know you feel like you should be further along you feel like you're doing everything right and i've said this in the past you know you feel like you're doing everything right you're following the, you know your coaches or your trainers you know orders and things like that and you're just not seeing the changes you know and we only do that because we see ourselves every day you know, um, but this is why you take progress photos, guys. This is why you take your measurements um, and things like that, because what you don't see in the mirror, you know, is going to be reflected, you know, in your measurements. Um, and the scale is only one measure of progress. You know, I am a scale junkie. I'm trying to reach a certain weight uh, because I know that where I was in 2020 and I'm basing everything off of 2020 because that was my best look. I know that in 2020, I was 159 pounds on stage, right? And I was the leanest I had ever gotten. I'll throw up, you know, the before and afters right here when, when I started and show day and everything like that. And, you know, that was my best look. I was 159 pounds, shredded, but I wanna do better than that. My goal is 147 pounds, you know, which might even be too lean, you know, but there's a guy named Dr. Swole who did a uh, WNBF show and uh and i believe he won his pro card at that show uh, i'll link it below it, it's a it's a you know he's got some really good information on his channel and things like that and um but he was 146 pounds and i mean he looked really really good and i believe he's about the same height as me i'm 510 and uh so it looked really really good on him now i know i'm not gonna have his physique and i'm not trying to get my physique like his i just know that where i was in 2020 you know i want to i want to beat that that physique and of course, this this show isn't like a typical bodybuilding show, you know. Um, I don't know how it's really going to be run, you know. I don't know if, to, you know, I'm pretty sure they're not going to bring us out into comparisons and things like that. You know, it's just a transformation challenge. Um, show, the whole show is just, you know, about people who have transformed their their not only their bodies but their lifestyles as well. So anyway, guys, man, I just really wanted to just just give you some encouragement, man, to just keep going, man, just keep pushing i had a leg day the other day um, i'm back in phase one of my program 
and I'm I'm utilizing some of the Body Beast program into this into this phase. And guys, it was brutal. <laughs> it was brutal, you know, because I'm doing exercises that I haven't done in a while. I'm going back to exercises that I was doing, but now um, I'm supersetting with something else. Like so, uh, so like the other day, I did legs, and we did. Um, you started with sumo squats with the dumbbell, and then you went into like a, tr a triple, a tricep back squats, Bulgarian split squats, and then step ups, <laughs> you know, that was brutal, you know, so changing things up a little bit and, you know, um, it is good for the gains as well, because like I said before, if your body knows already what you're doing, you're going to plateau. Your body's going to be like, Hey, I don't have to work hard today because I know I'm doing 10 reps of this exercise and that exercise. Right. So change things up. You know, I just know that something I, I need to I need to just up up the ante a little bit, up my game a little bit and and just um, just really kick ass, man, and go hard these next couple of weeks We we are two weeks out, I believe two weeks out, like 14 days. Yeah, 14 days from the um, start of the Pro Physique Transformation Challenge, which I want to kick ass on that. I want to win that, you know, me and me and coach, you know, uh, I told her, I'm like, I wanted to be 180 pounds for that, which is probably not going to happen, but, um, it is what it is. I'm not going to stress out about it. She, like she said, fuck the scale, you know, just keep grinding, keep doing your thing, keep going hard in the paint and, um, you know, we going to kick ass. Okay. So that's what I just want to leave you guys with, man. So words of encouragement, man, just keep going. Don't stop. Okay. Like they say on the beach body, you know, like the body beast program, which is from beach body. It's like, keep pushing play. Like, you know, this was a DVD set. So what they were saying was like, just put the DVD in and push play and just do it. Like get it done. If you know, during COVID, I just, I got it done. You know, I couldn't go to the gym. I took the cardio outside to the park, to the bike trails. You know, I did workouts at home in my basement, things like that. So I don't know where all this anxiety is coming from. That's, trying to prevent me from you know keep moving forward you know but i'm gonna keep moving forward i got upper body today um i don't think i'm gonna film it but there's nobody in here right now so but if i try to film it it's gonna take me even longer to do it so i'll bring you what i can but that's all i really wanted to leave you guys with just some words of encouragement man to just keep going man your efforts you know uh, like coach, not coach, but uh, Eric Thomas, the ET, the hip hop preacher says, you know, you're awarded in public for what you do in private. OK, so, you know, you got to be putting the work in on the back end. Like, you know, nobody sees that you got up at three, four o'clock in the morning to go to the gym. Nobody sees the meals that you prep. Most of the time, they only see the end result, guys. OK, and that's why people always think, oh, steroids, 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 which I, I want to make a video about that. But I. I really, I, I really don't want to get into that, but, um, but that's all people see. They only see the end result. They don't see the blood, the sweat, the tears that you put in that, you know, got you to where you are, you know, currently. Okay. So when we see these people, especially like movie stars and, you know, athletes and things like that, guys, you, you, you got to understand they're grinding, they're grinding to get to where they are right now. And that's what you got to do, man. You can't sit here and complain that, you know, you're not losing weight when you go eat pizza, burgers and wings and cheesecake and all of that stuff. And then think like a bullshit, you know, 20 minute workout is going to counteract that. Like, guys, having a cheap meal or a free meal or whatever you want to call it, a refeed is OK every now and then. But, guys, you can't do that every single day and then expect results. All right. So put in the work, whatever you're doing, debt free journey, fitness journey building a business, put the work in on the back end and be rewarded later on down the line. All right. So that's all I got for you guys, man. No, no, no training in this video, but I just want to leave with that word of encouragement, man. Keep going, keep putting in the work and you will be rewarded later. All right. Might not be when you want, but guys, trust me, it's going to happen. All right. If you quit, it's never going to happen. And I've quit before. Like, like one of my favorite uh, quotes is, I already know what quitting feels like. I want to see what happens when I don't. All right. I love you. There's nothing you can do about that. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next one. Your boy, Jay Dizzle. I'm out.
Peace.